I'm playing Chuck Smith in Jesus Revolution, which is the story of a, an actual period not too long ago in history, our contemporary history of America, uh, where Jesus made a comeback, of sorts, through the hippie movement. Well, it's about faith and love and God and all those things and the, that come along for the ride, but those, those thoughts and concepts and uh, realities, honestly, they all exist. I was asking for God to step in and say, well, here's a little something for you. This might remind you of what you used to feel like when you were a kid. Well, one of my favorite scenes in the movie is the first one where he invites the hippies into his church. He's, he's a, a man sort of at loss before he accepted this job. He doesn't really know where he's going and how his church is going to fare, whether or not he's even going to remain a preacher. And then uh, this opportunity presents itself to him. And this kid walks and he thinks, I'm going to open up the church to this. And it's a pretty amazing thing. If it's a good story and you tell it honestly, there are going to be a lot of people that want to know about it and who will really enjoy it. I do think we exist at a time in our society and in our country that is kind of screaming out for a little bit of faith, a little bit of something to believe in. Renewal. I hope people feel tearful and joyful all at the same time and, uh, and maybe inspired to rediscover their own faith. Greg is here as an advisor, a consultant slash whatever, you know, resident expert. I mean, he's lived it. It's pretty neat to have Greg Laurie walk up to you and start telling you what Chuck was about. Uh, but what's been fun here is that there's so many extras, this at least today, while we're shooting this, that knew Chuck themselves, were baptized by him, you know, uh, attended his church. Calvary Church was just one little place that he ran, and there are now thousands around the country. It's, uh, it's quite a dynamic thing that happened. And what Greg said that I thought was pretty relevant was he said, you know, we were all kind of searching for a good dad. And Chuck gave him that.